The second book of Moses, called Exodus, <clears throat> chapter 15. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spoke, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider has he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation. My Father is God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host has he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sink into the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed in pieces the enemy. And in greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sent forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of the nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The floods stood up right as a heap, and the depths were congealed as the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide thy spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Thou did blow with the wind, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Thou stretched out thy right hand, the earth swallowed them. Thou in mercy hast led forth the people which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in strength unto thy holy habitation. The people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestine. Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, shall take hold upon them, and all the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By the greatness of thine arm, they shall be as still as a stone, till the people pass over. O Lord, till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased. Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in the mountain of the inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in. In the sanctuary, O Lord, which thy hands have established, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. <clears throat> For the horse of Pharaoh went in with his chariots and with his horsemen into the sea, but the Lord brought him again the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. And Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a tremble in her hand, and all the women went up, out after her with trembles and with dances. And Miriam answered them, Sing you to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider has he thrown into the sea. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. And when they came to Moriah, they could not drink of the waters of Moriah because they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Marah. Which means bitter. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed them a tree which he had cast into the waters, and the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statute of ordinance, and he proved them, and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his hand, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that heals thee. And they came to Elam, where twelve wells of water, and six and seventy palm trees, and they encamped there by the waters. Chapter 16 And they took their journey from Elam, and all their congregation of the children of Israel came into the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departing out of the land of Egypt. 
And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we have died by the land of the Lord and the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots and we did eat bread to be full. For, we, we, for you have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them, whether they will walk in my law or not. And it shall come to pass, that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moses and Aaron said unto the children of Israel in the evening, Then you shall know that the Lord has brought you out from the land of Egypt, and in the morning then you shall see the glory of the Lord. For he hears your murmurings against the Lord, and what are we that yet murmur against us? And Moses said, This shall be when the Lord give you in the evening flesh to eat, in the morning bread to the full, that the Lord hears your murmurings, which you murmur against him. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. And Moses spoke unto Aaron, Say unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he has heard your murmurings. And it came to pass, as Aaron spoke unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak unto them, saying, At evening you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass that at the evening the quills came up and they covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay around about the host. And when the dew that lay was gone, behold, upon the face of the wilderness there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoarfrost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said to one another, It is manna, for they wist not what it was. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Gather it of every man according to his eating, an omer for every man according to the number of your persons. Take you every man for them which are in his tent. And the children of Israel did so, and gathered some more, some less. And when they did met it, it with an omer, he that gathered had much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating. And Moses said, Let no man leave it up till the morning. Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto Moses, but some of them left of it until the morning, and it bred worms and stank, and Moses was wroth with them. And they gathered it every morning, every man according to his eating. And when the sun waxed hot, it melted. And it came to pass that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for one man, and all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today, and see that you will see, and that which remains over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And they laid it up till the morning, as Moses bade, and it did not stink, neither was there any worm therein. And Moses said, Eat that today, for it is today a Sabbath unto the Lord. Today you shall not find it in the field. Six days you shall gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, in it there shall be none. And it came to pass that there went out some of the people on the seventh day for to gather, and they found none. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long refuse you to keep my commandments and my laws? See, for that the Lord has given you the Sabbath. Therefore he gives you on the sixth day the bread of two days. Abide you every man in his place. Let no man go out in his place on the seventh day. So the people rested on the seventh day. And the house of Israel called the name thereof manna. And it was like carinder seed, white. And the taste was like wafers made with honey. Then, and Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded. Fill an omar of it to be kept for your generations, that they may see the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness. 
when I brought you forth from the land of Egypt. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a pot, and put in an omer full of manna therein, and lay it up for the Lord, to be kept for your generations. As the Lord commanded Moses, so Aaron laid up before the testimony to be kept. And the children of Israel did eat manna forty years, until they came to a land inhabited. They did eat manna until they came into the borders of the land of Canaan. Now an omar is the tenth part of an ephah. This is the good news of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. Thank you. Amen.